Okay, hello people. Today we're gonna work on this GR86, brand new, turning into electric uh, race car. So we're taking brand new 2023 GR86s, converting them to electric, making them available to be raced in the NASA 2023 season. Super Touring Series will be the first electric race car that you can race with gas cars. Josiah is gonna make some uh, angle kits for it. So I'm gonna take the front end apart, scan it, and take you along for the process. Got the computer set up, scanner. Let's go. How dirty my hands are, I'm just gonna grab a dog nut. Okay, everybody, I have a GR86 here. Needs a cage. It's all ready to go. Rob Parsons cage kit here on the floor and we gotta put that in there. So I started with uh, getting these base plates ready to weld in by uh, grinding, getting rid of the seam sealer. Did that on six corners. One's back there, one's up here. One's over there. I haven't cleaned this one up yet, so usually I just place them where they're gonna go. Draw a little outline with a Sharpie, and then start using Cam's sweet old crud thug. Boom. And uh, just start going nuts. This thing. That usually takes the seam sealer off right away. Does a good job. We're going to assemble this cool looking cage in this car. I'll take you along with me. Fantastic. I got the main hoop to fit really well. The the hoop main hoop fits super tight up in the roof skin as you can see it's there It's like touching and it fits so tight that these uh, base plates kind of stuck up off of the, the floor a little bit So what I did was I gave it a little hit with the hammer here and it flattened it and contoured it to the shape of the car which allowed the tube to sit further down just a little hammer on the base plate and it got it fitting perfectly. And as you can see, here's the laser, the laser etches on the tube that Rob puts to land the door bars. And uh, there's another one right there. So next, I'm probably gonna put the, uh, the rear B-pillar bars in to locate where the main hoop sits in the car. And then after that, we'll do the A pillar bar.
got the cage drop as well the tops of these bars. I got the ratchet strap pulling the main hoop together and that drops it off their pedestal onto the floor and that gives us room to weld the tops. Before, they were up there. Now they're down here. So we got the cage welded and now we're gonna work on the intrusion bars. Those are these things. They link from the cage to the shock tower. We're gonna work on this side, which is not cut yet. So I gotta get this bar uh, from the cage to the shock tower. So I gotta cut a hole through the firewall right there. So we got the hole roughed out. It's uh, I just cut it with a plasma cutter and then I'll go back with uh, a die grinder and clean up the rough edges or make some final tweaks and adjustments to get it fitting perfectly. But yeah, we got the notch lined up with the etch. Uh, we finished the GR86 cage. Uh, Cam and I worked really hard on this. So this is a cage kit by Rob Parsons. It's uh, FIA spec, so it has these cool looking door bars. It's made of inch and three quarter DOM 095 wall tubing. It came together really well. It, uh, it fits up really nice. It has these really gnarly intrusion bars that <laughs> you have to cut the firewall to get in. And those came out well. Lots of cutting. Cam did an excellent job welding this cage. You'll see in the, the B-roll that the, the welds look very nice. Um, yeah. This is going to Joel, Josiah's brother, uh, to turn into an electric race car. So, he had some special requests for us. As you can see, we have some bars left over. This goes through these backstage here. They triangulate the back stays and they go towards the driver's head. The bar is gonna get in the way of the motor and battery of this vehicle. So Joel made a special request to leave that bar out. We also left out a little gusset that go here. Joel's super tall, he's six foot six, so his head hits those with the helmet on. And this is a super small car, so we left those out for him. As you can see in some parts of the video, we got uh, the front suspension scanned up and front wheel well. Just I was working on some really cool new products. Uh, we got uh, mini, mild, and mega Mantis kits coming out for this car. So yeah, the cage turned out really well. Um, I'm happy with it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.